What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tackle Bassin and welcome back to another holiday buyer's guide video for you. Today, we are talking soft swim baits. Today we're talking soft swim baits. If you guys missed it, we are in the middle of our buyer's guide series. We started with rod videos over a week ago and we've been going seven days a week and we are going to continue going tomorrow and beyond. Yesterday was the hard swim bait buyer's guide. Today is soft swim baits. Tim, you wanna kick us off? Uh, sure. You know, this whole video is about simplifying and making it easy for you guys or loved ones to purchase the products for you. So we've narrowed down the soft swim baits and the hard swim baits, all this stuff to make it easy to uh, go get the stuff. So and, and to fish with confidence. Like yeah. these are, we narrowed it down so far. These are our confidence baits. Yeah. So I guess I will start off with uh, this guy right here. This is the Osprey six inch tournament talon. Uh, cutting my teeth out west on swim baits on Clear Lake, skipping docks with swim baits. This was my go to bait. I don't know how many fish I've caught on it, I don't know how many big spots I've caught on it. They just eat this thing. What I like about this bait is it fishes really, uh, really well on bottom. Granted, it can be fished in mid column, you know, burning it, whatever. Uh, I like to really just creep this bait on the bottom unless I'm skipping docks. Like I said a little bit earlier, this thing can skip. Out of all the swim baits, this thing just skips. I don't know if it's way, where the weight is in the head or what, but if you get back, you could skip this thing all the way back under docks. So if you're on a dock fishery, this is a great swim bait to be able to put baits back in where other guys can't. But again, that, uh, that Osprey in the uh, chartreuse shad, the re reverse hitch, mm -hmm. those are like the go-to colors. But I mean, I don't know how many fish you've caught on it. I've caught too many. Probably, I don't know. I don't even want to imagine how many, but a lot of fish on this guy right here. That's the Osprey six inch tournament talon. All right, I'll take these two as a, as a duo. Now, let me back up just one step. We've broken this out into five categories for you. What Tim started into is top hook Boot tail. paddle tail or boot tail style baits. Then we've got top hook wedge tail style baits. Then we've got bluegill profiles. We've got your treble hook boot tails and weedless boot tails. So with can, that, with that said, ahead. the boot tail, this is a bait that you're going to fish in your warmer months, your warmer water months. This is going to be a real aggressive kick. This is not something you're going to want to throw in the Dead winter time. This is something you want to fish in the spring, summer, and fall. So what I've got here, these are the Baca Burrito, five inch and six inch. Uh, Mike Buca produces these in a partnership with Gail Ratcliffe who developed this bait. The Baca Burrito is deadly. This bait fished slowly, has a very subtle kick fished quickly, like chuck and wine style, cover in water, they vibrate. I mean, way harder than most swim baits. Super strong vibration and they call fish in. Comes in a medium and a regular sink. The medium sink is great for throwing up shallow. The standard, I fish mid column or on the bottom. I'm able to fish these baits five inch and six inch effectively on ledges in 15 to 35, even in current but I can also fish them up off the bottom. And then this color, this is a partnership we did with Mike. He asked us if there was a color we would ever wanna do as a custom color. And we said, no problem, we know exactly what we want. So this is tactical shad. And what this is, is a cross between Tennessee shad and electric shad. Uh, just a deadly, deadly color. And you guys probably can't see this, but it's obvious this one's been, this one's all, all, teeth all chewed up, teeth all through the eyes. That's <laughs> great, I love it. Uh, next bait, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with one of the wedge style baits. This guy right here. So this is the boot tail, that's the wedge. This is gonna be something that's gonna be a more subtle kick, uh, slower, colder weather, colder water temps. This is actually the Huddleston 68. Now the reason they call it this is the six inch Huddleston body with the tail 
from the eight inch. Now there was a buzz about this bait for several years. You couldn't get them. This was this was a bait that we, people were trying to get. You guys have all heard of the Huddleston eight inch. Guys were literally cutting the tails off and gluing them on to the six together. inch. So this guy right here, what's cool about these six inch baits, uh, you don't necessarily have to upsize all of your swim bait, gear, swim bait gear. You can throw it on your heavy jig stuff. Uh, this, this too, this is, you know, a five power rod, a, a medium heavy you could get away with. Granted, you could go with something a little bit more powerful, right. um, but you won't necessarily get your heart broke trying to get into this smaller size swim bait game with your standard gear. But this HUD 68, it's a smaller profile. It's that six inch profile. It's not overwhelming like an eight or 10 inch bait. And it has that real good kick with that big tail back there. But this is another just, just creeping bait. Yeah. Next one, sticking with that wedge style tail. This is my confidence bait for that bigger swim bait. This is the Savage Gear eight inch trout the rtf so that rtf with savage gear stands for ready to fish so it's a jig hook bait comes with a stinger i actually upgrade my stinger we'll talk about that i'm sure but this is a bait that i have a ton of confidence in i really like these baits dead of winter so when the water gets really cold starting end of november and then I like them all the way up to just before the spawn. That's my confidence window. Either bottom crawling, just bumping bottom, or as we head into spring and bass start going shallow, I'll start chucking and winding these baits in shallow water around cover. Just got that subtle kick, very natural presentation, and fish just come out and get them. Yeah, of all that style swim bait, the Huddleston, the, I mean the Magdraft, all those old baits, this thing just swims really, really well. It, I was blown away looking at it underwater, seeing the swim footage of it. The thing just swims really realistically. All right, let's talk bluegill baits, I guess. Um, yeah, and bluegill baits, so what we did for bluegills is we just grabbed three and all three are different. We really are trying to narrow this down. We don't want these decisions to be hard for you. So in the bluegill category, you've got one line through, one weedless, and one jig hook. So what he means by line through, you literally run, this is the uh, Savage Gear. Yep. You run your line right through this pre-made hole right here, it comes down through the bottom. Well, you come through here and you can tie, go up or down. Yeah, you yeah. tie your, your, I'm not even looking at it. Uh, you tie your treble hook on and then this sticks into the bait. But when you catch a fish, you're fighting the fish on, exactly. the, on the hook and you don't have the weight of the bait in the front of their mouth. I'll put this back in there for you. But um, bluegill baits, obviously there's a lot to be said about bluegill baits. You know, bass simply eat bluegill. They eat crappie, they eat bluegill, they eat, you know, that's that shape of fish. Um, having a line through option, there's not a lot of baits on the market that have a line through option mm -hmm. for the for the, the the bluegill baits. But Savage Gear, I don't know how they do it, but their, their color schemes, it's almost like they're photo printed. They're, they're right. so realistic. Uh, and then they have that same style of tail like their bigger partner, the bigger brother over here. Uh, just a really subtle tail, a little bit smaller, so it kicks a little bit tighter. But um, these guys are awesome. The next one here, this is from 13 Fishing. And this is a 13 Fishing Coalition bait. This gill, again, wedge style tail. I like wedge style tails on bluegill profiles. I tend to like paddle tails on shad profiles. This bait, what I like about it is that it's a true weedless. You can just barely see the hook point sticking out. I could even knock it down farther than that. You won't see it at all. You will be shocked when I pop this out, how big of a hook this bait can hide. You'll also find that I bent this hook out specifically for this bait. There's a giant hook hiding inside of that bait. Uh, what I've done is I take that hook that's an owner beast, by the way. I bend it out so that when I run this through here, the bait's hollow, it's got a great big cavity. When I run it through, it's perfectly hidden, but any pressure brings out a hook point that's not just sitting there, it's tipped up just a hair, and that will catch any bite. And that is key. Now granted, a tipped up hook, you've gotta put a lot of pressure on them to get them in the boat, but that's a trick that I use to seriously 
up my hookup ratio when I use any weedless bait. All right, last in the bluegill category, this little guy right here is another little guy from Savage Gear. This is a cool little, I mean, everything can eat this thing. A yep. big spot can eat this, a big smallmouth. But again, look how realistic that looks. It looks like a real bluegill. You can see what I like about this bait is you can throw this on a bait caster and don't have to worry about bending out that hook. That is a gaff of a hook, especially on this little bait. But again, just a real realistic profile. Uh, this is a bait that I like to just creep close to bottom, not necessarily on bottom, but just up off the bottom. It's got that little tail back there kicking. Looks like a little, little bluegill, just you know, just little little Nemo, just keeps swimming, right? And it he just, gets it, it just gets chomped. But that guy right there, if you're looking to try uh, a swim bait in the bluegill kind of category, and you don't need to go that big, try this little guy right there by Savage Gear. This one is another small bait. This is a five inch bait. This is from Big Bite Baits. It's called the B5 line through. So same deal as the bluegill. Line comes through the nose, out the belly, and then you tie it to your size four treble hook and stab that into the belly to hold it in place. I had these baits in my boat and in my lineup the last few years. And it's, I just never picked them up. You know, I buy all sorts of things. This spring, I was in a scenario where I wanted to, I was targeting smallmouth, and I wanted to throw really light line, 12 pounds straight fluoro. My heaviest rod I had with me was a seven foot medium heavy. So I thought this bait, if, if they would eat it, I would have a good hookup to land ratio. It turned out to be out of this world. I caught so many big smallmouth. Since then, this bait and that combo, 12 pound fluoro, ended up on the deck of my boat for the entire year. I have caught so many fish on so many lakes. I've pounded them out here on Chickamauga. Everywhere I go, I have so much confidence in this little guy. And it's, I regret that I didn't try it sooner. It's a bait that I really enjoy fishing and I can get away with doing it on really light tackle when my fish are finicky. Um, I'll do both of these, I guess. Sure. So this is the Mega Bass mag draft this is the six inch this is the eight inch and i was slow to the game on the mag draft you know i hear heard a lot of people talking about it out west i was using the ospreys i was mm -hmm. using the huddlestons i was using just different swim baits out here on chickamauga out you know even smallmouth we've got a bunch of smallmouth on it mm -hmm. uh we spent more time with it and have caught a ton of fish on it we realized the speed that you gotta fish them at you know, and once you figure that out, the fish just come unglued for them. So again, a six inch and an eight inch. Uh, I really like this six inch on 12 pound fluoro, 14 pound fluoro, something like that. Uh, this bait works really well skipping around overhangs, mm -hmm. docks, that sort of stuff. It, it has, you know, I talked about the Osprey skipping. What this has, it's got a treble hook that comes down, right? But it has a magnet inside that keeps that hook up, up up against that belly so when you're skipping this thing you don't have to worry about your hook coming out and hanging down uh, if you need a little added support you can take a little pin or a little something to a little paper clip or something to, to put can, that up there can i add to that yeah because i know the osprey is your favorite skipping bait the eight inch mag draft is my favorite bait to skip docks and what i found that that even is more simple is i take my hook because you can just put the hook this way and the magnet will hold but this way where you just stab in is the easiest. But what I found is it's going into a cavity. If I just skin hook one side or the other of the cavity, that thing is now bomb proof. And I can shoot that thing way back under docks. And this bait likes to slow sink. So I'm fishing within 18 inches of the surface. Right. And when I get back under a dock, back there where they're not used to seeing it, and I just start that slow roll, and that thing is just back there swaying up high in the water column. Those fish under that dock just pin that thing to the surface. And it is such a fun bite. It's I a lot of fun. I love that. Uh, that leaves us one last category here. These are your weedless baits. So fish on a beast hook. Both of these are rigged on an ADOT beast. Uh, and then you just stab through and skin hook on the back. This is a Scottsboro. 
The Scottsboro is a bait I found probably, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago and just have developed a ton of confidence in. Uh, fished it really well on Clear Lake. It fishes really well on the TVA. Comes in a bunch of great colors. I've got two or three key favorites. And in the video description, we will link all this gear in the order that we've talked about it. And for every bait, we'll also give you our personal confidence colors, our favorites, uh, just to make it that much easier for you. But that six or seven inch Scottsboro, either one, fantastic bait for just all around fishing, bumping bottom, rolling it through brush piles, just crawling around in the thick stuff. I love that bait. Last but not least is the six inch weedless mag draft. Just talked about the mag draft over here. You can see the difference, got the belly treble. This is the weedless. Now for me, this is my grass swim bait. This is the swim bait I'm fishing around grass lines. You know, I'm fishing it over the tops of the grass, dropping it down in, but with it being weedless, you can fish it through that and not get hung up with the exposed hook points. Mm -hmm. You can fish this thing on straight braid if you're fishing through real heavy stuff, uh, throw a big leader on there. But uh, that guy right there, just like Matt said, these these weedless swim baits are a must and I like to throw them this time of the year all around grass. As that grass dies, then we'll pick up, those water temps drop, then we'll pick up some of these different swim baits. Let me switch over to line. Uh, we keep line super simple. And if you're following the entire series, you just heard this information yesterday. I apologize for that, but not everybody's watching the entire series. So we keep our swim bait line very simple. We use braid. Specifically, we use Power Pro Max Quattro. And the reason why is that it's extremely thin for uh, it's strength. So 80 pound Max Quattro is like most brands 65 pound. So we're able to use an extremely strong line. We're able to upsize uh, and keep a ton of power and a ton of confidence without the line itself actually upsizing. So we use Max Quattro either 65 or 80 pound. And then we tie leaders to that. Uh, and we have a very specific leader material that we use. This is Sunline's Sultimate shock leader two different versions here this one is fluorocarbon the purple is fluorocarbon the blue package is monofilament uh, if you're throwing well people just have a preference right i like to throw a lot of mono personally a lot of people prefer fluoro but both of these are shock leaders which means they stretch and return over and over again extremely well which most line doesn't do most line stretches and it's sprung and needs to be replaced. Shock leaders, you can fish it over and over and over again, catching fish, and it will continue to give and return. It's a very unique line. And then they come in a variety of sizes, all the way down to like 16 pound, that you can use with traditional fishing or some of the smaller baits, and then all the way up to 30, 35, 40. Uh, we use a lot of 30 and 35 with our big baits. And again, that shock leader is actually pretty thin, so when I tell people I throw on 35, they think I'm crazy. Little do they know that my leader is actually thinner than their 25 pound big game that they're using, right? So it's a very thin line and that's how we get away with fishing such strong gear uh, without actually changing the size of what we're using at all. Uh, some quick upgrades that we do on most of our swim baits. If we're putting a stinger hook on uh, we're using the hook itself is going to be an owner st56 that's a 3x strong hook and then this guy right here we're using single strand wire and we're tying a haywire twist to add that stinger to that swim bait if you need to add a stinger that haywire twist with some single strand is about as strong as it comes bulletproof uh, why don't you talk about that rod and then i'll wrap up with these two so combos, like Matt said, if you guys saw this video yesterday, you saw that we talked about some of these videos, but someone might be watching this video a year down the road, so who knows? Right. So we're gonna go over it again. Uh, you guys know that have been following the channel for a long time. Our bread and butter is the Loomis 966. It's a do-all, catch-all rod. I mean, you can catch big striper on it, big largemouth, big whatever, but more importantly, you can throw all of your big baits on it. You can throw your treble hook baits on it. You can throw your jig hook baits on it. And that's what makes it so special. In the past, we had to have a rod that had a softened up tip, tip to be able to throw a treble hook bait 
keep loaded so those fish don't spit it. Mm -hmm. But we needed a, a different rod that was more stout to bury that, that jig hook. The 966 does it all. It's kind of a hard rod to get right now, just the way things are in the industry. Uh, we paired that up with the uh, Tranks 300. That is a fantastic all around swim bait rod. Again, we'll link everything down below in the video description. They might be available today. We're not sure, but if you can, get your hands on this combo. Yeah, they just come and go. There's just not enough inventory for the demand. Uh, particularly with reels, we stick with those 300 or 400 size reels, typically low profile, and there's a few good ones. The Tranks, the Corrado. Uh, we've got a few different reels that we use. This rod I grabbed, this is a 13 Fishing Omen Black, and it is the heavy. The reason why I grabbed this rod is because this is a somewhere between a budget and a mid-priced swim bait rod, like mid 100s. Uh, this rod does a really good job of throwing those bigger jig hook style baits. And that can be a difficult rod to get on the budget end. Most budget swim bait rods Softer. are super soft and are great for throwing hard baits or for throwing treble hook soft baits but not for throwing jig hooks. That 966 is very unique in that it can do both, but you pay more for that. This is the best rod I've found at the lowest price for throwing those jig hook baits. And then this last one, I talked about this yesterday again. This is the Shimano SLX, the 7.8 Heavy. And I've been very impressed with this rod. It came out this year and we have put it through the paces and have been blown away by it. And it's actually more of that crossover rod, which is extremely rare. Uh, and here you're down around that $100 price point for the rod. So that's even more amazing, but it will, it'll throw your treble hook bait. And I've caught a bunch of burrito fish on it with that jig hook without any issue at all. I've been really happy with that rod. So guys, there it is. That is our buyer's guide for soft swim baits. We'll link all these products down below in the video description with our favorite colors, the combos, the, the terminal tackle upgrades, and all the good stuff. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. We'll try to get to those as soon as possible. Um, like we're, every video. We're rolling again tomorrow too. Yep. I believe tomorrow is storage, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Tackle storage and accessories. And we're going seven days a week right now. Every single day, there's a new gear review for you guys. Didn't mean to cut you off, but nope. if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.